everyone, and welcome back to Voice. What we're going to focus on this week are articulation exercises. And these are designed to help you regularly maintain your vocal instrument, and they're going to help you in the acting process, in your regular life, and public speaking in general. In this specific video, what we're going to go over are how to warm up your face and also how to open up your jaw. So let's get started. For our first exercise, what we want to do is first just warm up our face and get it moving. So what we're going to call this exercise is Face Olympics. Now I want you to think of yourselves as Jim Carrey and him specifically screaming in the film Ace Ventura. If you haven't seen it, here's the clip. Now what you're going to do is contort and move your face in as many directions and ways as you possibly can. Now I encourage you to do this with me and then what I want you to do is go in front of a mirror and then just try them out by yourself and see what you're capable of doing. Always test yourself and see, see if you can surprise yourself. But on the count of three, what we're going to do is move our face in as many directions as possible. One, two, three. Now, what we're going to do is give, our, give a quick motorboat in between each exercise. And what that does is that's air coming up through your mouth and you're allowing your lips to kind of just vibrate and then that's going to send vibrations all throughout your face and it's going to help relax those muscles that you've been adding tension to. So we're going to do that one more time, twice as fast. One, two, three. And perfect. Now the next thing that we're going to do is called a face massage. So you're going to give your, take your fingertips, place them on your face, and just vigorously massage as fast as you can. And really just love this and give yourself as much of a massage as you can. And nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give a stretch pout. So you're going to smile and not stretch pout. We're going to have the O of surprise. Ready? One, two, three. And again, what we're doing is just stretching out our face. And okay. The next activity that we're going to do is we're going to start moving into releasing our jaw. So the first thing that we're going to do is called fish pops. Now all you're going to do is just drop your jaw kind of like a fish. Now that sound that's happening, that's just from your lips touching. Don't try to replicate the sound, just let what happens happen. But just drop your jaw. That's it. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is massage our TMJ. The TMJ is a joint that connects your jaw to your skull. Now go ahead and feel on your face where that connection is and massage it. Push in and massage. It should feel fantastic. And this doesn't get a lot of love, so you should feel this kind of move out all over your face because you're releasing a muscle that does a lot of work, but doesn't get a lot of love. Now from here, what we're gonna do is take the heel of our hand and we're gonna push in and drag it down our jaw muscles. So feel the muscles of your jaw and push in and just drag. You're going to keep your jaw relaxed and push in and drag all the way down. One more time, push in and drag. Perfect. Now from here, what we're going to do is kind of just loosen and relax our jaw just a little bit more. This is called a jaw shake. You can grab your jaw and shake it like this. Or you can grab your hands together and shake your hands while relaxing your jaw and letting your jaw shake. Either way will work. Try out both and see which one works best for you. And always do what works best for you. So we're gonna go here and one more time. Good, and the idea is just to relax and loosen up our jaw muscles. And that's all we wanna do, perfect. Now, from here, we're gonna give a voice to our next movement. And this is really focused on just seeing if relaxing those muscles has done anything. So what we're gonna do is give an open ah sound. Now, A-H is the most open sound in the English language. We're gonna give an F to it at the very, very beginning, so it's gonna say fa, F-A-H, fa, right? But as you say it, I want you to drop your jaw and really focus on how much, 
how much space you can give your mouth so that you can send that voice forward. We're gonna say fa, 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 fa. You're gonna repeat it five times. Ready? One, two, three. Fa, 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 fa. Again. One, two, three. Fa, 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 fa. Good. Now what we're gonna do is open up the inside of our mouth just a little bit more. And again, we're focusing on creating space within our vocal cavity. And what I want you to do is we're gonna say, instead of ouch, we're gonna add an H in front of it and it's going to say ouch. But instead of just doing that, I want you to yawn while you're saying it because it's gonna lift your soft palate up as well. So I'm, what we're trying to do is create as much space in your mouth as possible. And it's gonna sound weird at first, but the more space you give yourself, the more resonant you're gonna sound and the better you're gonna sound. So let's try that together. One, two, three. Ouch. One more time. One, two, three. Ouch. Great job, guys. What I want you to do now is I want you to try out these exercises again, go in front of the mirror, try them out, and then I want you to upload your response to what your experience was like. Did it work? Did it not work? Did you like it? Which things didn't work? Tell me what your experience was so I can learn from you. All right, everyone. I look forward to hearing your responses. I'll see you soon.